how to prepare your merino fiber to make it stronger because as of right now, as you can see, if I pull on uh, the merino fibers, it's just gonna break. So like that basically. So we want to make this stronger. All right, so I, so I put on the side the towel for now because we won't need it. Because the first step that we're gonna do is that we're going to apply a bit of friction to our fibers to make it a little bit stronger before um, applying water. So I'm going to show you the process. Don't worry about it. So what you're going to do is you're going to start by finding the middle of your ball. Now that this is done, um, some technique involves doing this a couple of times, but I uh, like to do, do it once or twice, uh, just to make sure it's a little bit stronger. As you can see now, it's already a lot stronger than it was before, so if you want, you can do that a couple more times. If not, that's okay, because we're going to keep going and keep making it stronger. So I'm going to show you uh, this part, so right now I have a big pile with all my um, fibers. So we're gonna put this aside for a second and take our um, towel. And this is just to protect your table. It's not really um, part of the technique, but I don't want my table to be soaking wet. So, so now what you're gonna do is you're gonna put the yarn in a circular shape. I'll show you in a minute so that it doesn't get tangled. Let me just show you what I do doesn't need to be perfect, it's just to make sure it doesn't get tangled. So you're gonna just make a big circle like this. As I said, you don't need to make it perfect, it's just because we're gonna put this in the drying machine, so we wouldn't want it to get all tangled. That would be really bad. Alright, so you're gonna keep going like that until you've done it with your entire um, ball of wool that you have. So let's just do that and come back. So as you can see, this is really easy to do. So what I like to do is then I take my string of yarn I uh, show you when I show the material earlier. And then I like to attach it really loosely, just so that it doesn't tangle um, around my, um, my wool. So I'm just going to do it like that. So there is one. I use force to make sure that it really doesn't tangle because that would be really bad. Alright, so another here, really loosely, doesn't need to be tightened because we don't want the wool to stick to each other, like the fibers to stick to each other. We want still a big um, tube of yarn at the end, basically. So. I could even make it looser if I wanted to, but it's gonna be just fine. And then last one here. Yeah. Okay. So now I'm gonna take my spray bottle. I use a spray bottle also because I don't want the entire fibers to be soaking wet. I just want a little bit of water, so I'm going to spray it around like this. I like to just put it inside a bit because I have a lot like that. So as you can see, you can see water, but it's not like all soaky, so I turn it around like this. And do the same thing. Okay, put it in 
inside. And then there you go, the hardest part is done. So then you're gonna take this and put it in the drying machine at tumble dry low. I put it for about 10 minutes. As you can see, it's a little bit fluffy, but don't worry, that's fine. So you can go ahead, take scissors, and cut your scrappy yarn that you used. So I'm gonna go like that. And I should have four of those. I'm gonna go like that. And then the other one. So now that I cut the yarn that was holding it all together, I like to do a little bit of friction again. So the first step that we did earlier, just to make sure like the fluff that is a bit coming out is just not on my main um, tube of fibers so that it just makes it pretty. And also you'll notice that the, your fibers, maybe they, they're sticking a little bit together like this which is fine it's because of the uh, drying machine so by doing the friction again um, it's gonna help make it a nice see it's a lot stronger now that we've done all this so that's good so I'm just gonna go ahead and do the same step as I did before and I can apply a bit more pressure now since it's not gonna break so I'm just gonna go ahead and do this a little bit of uh, fibers coming out so I'm just I just like to take it off so that it doesn't um, take it it doesn't come off when I do my bed so here it is I can just throw it uh, in the garbage it doesn't matter it's not enough to uh, try to stick it back on the main tube so I'm just gonna keep going like that To make sure my um, now lightly felted um, wool doesn't tangle, I like to put in a big ball of um, wool so that it's easier to work with. 